We've never covered anything like this before. This is an electric vehicle, a personal electric vehicle, a smart wheelchair. I am in the EV1 by Strut. Let's check it out. So I'm currently sitting in the EV1 by Strut. Uh, you guys first saw this in one of our CES tour videos, but I can't believe that I'm in this in the outdoors because we sort of like saw it on the floor and it was busy and people were running around it. But like this is in its natural habitat kind of thing. So let's take a tour of the Strut one. So we have four wheels and then these are the LiDAR sensors and you get 20 to 30 meters of sensing all the way around you. So it's like really good sensing forwards and then sensing backwards as well, which is really, really cool. And then as far as the controls over here, I'm, I'm really comfortable in this, by the way, there is a seat belt behind me, which I don't feel like using, but I did go down the hill. So I would probably use it at times if you get a little, a little crazy, but um, you have a good angle of the controls right there, Patrick. Cool, so we have a joystick right here, and depending on what mode you're in, the joystick is more or less uh, responsive, which is cool. And there's a plus and minus button, and the plus, like the full speed, is fast. I don't know how many miles an hour it goes, but it certainly feels fast to me. There's a horn, just prepare yourself. Warning, prepare yourself, it's quite loud. Okay, that's loud. That's definitely loud, which I appreciate. But the really cool thing about this is that it has some intelligent features. It has some AI smart features so that hopefully you won't have to use that horn that much. So there are the two drive modes, support and glide, which should help you avoid people. Because I'm sure we've all been in areas where someone's in a mobility device and I, I hope you pay attention to that person because they're probably having kind of a hard time navigating around you, around around people who are ambulatory, um, because it's just hard to do. It's hard to modulate your speed. It's hard to avoid bumps and obstacles like that. Um, so sometimes you hear the, the honk of these devices, and hopefully you don't have to honk that much with this because it's gonna be helping you out. So you can go for a stroll with your friends um, or even like a tour or something where people are stopping and starting and you're looking at things and you're not worrying that much about controlling the speed of the device or the navigation depending on what mode you're in. And so we're going to show you also the left hand side as Patrick is panning around. So we have a screen and you can cycle between the modes with this yellow button on either side. These two buttons below it, there's a camera and an A that's not active yet. Uh, I'd be excited to see what that's going to be later on. But you can easily switch between the two modes and perhaps you can hear that sound as we're switching. Um, and then when I back up, I see a camera. So we'll get some B-roll of that so I can see what's behind me. Patrick's just coming into it. So, and I'm going to try not like get out of his shot too much and go really slowly. Maybe I can, I can reduce my speed. And could you see that, Patrick? The yeah, not at all. I know it's quite hard to see in the sun, but trust me, I can see it pretty well. So the speed is on the bottom right there and it's going up and down. So we'll go really slow and then kick in that camera, which is really, really nice. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's an essential. We'll make Patrick chase me here. Uh, Cause like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I get around in a manual wheelchair a lot and I don't see what's behind me. And that's why the walls in our house are really, really scratched up because I don't see what's behind me and I scratch them up a lot. Um, but so this is it. This is the EV1 by Strut in the metal, in person. Super cool to see it. And uh, it's gonna be coming out next year, hopefully. So hopefully I'll be seeing a lot more of these soon. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this, but that's actually Tony, the CEO, walking around. That little blob, wait, come back, Tony. There you go, you see him there. He's showing up in the LiDAR here. That little blob is Patrick. And then it's really hard to see, but I'm in the middle as the wheelchair. Poor Patrick is like juggling a lot of things right here. Um, but this is the screen and you can see a lot of things here. <laughs> Are you waving your leg in the... Yeah, I'm moving my leg. Oh, I wonder if my leg shows up. Oh, you can see my legs sort of appear. That's quite fun. <laughs> That's cool. So there's a lot of information here. You see we're at 0.0, .0 miles per hour and you see the battery percentage there and the speed level. But if you want more information, you can minimize the screen. We have the time and then you have the actual level number, what speed we're at, we're at one. 
um, currently. We were growing really slowly. And then we're at 45% battery levels. So if you want that ever, you can pop in to the main screen and then um, we can head back to our screen where we can see the LiDAR, which is just really, really cool. Hopefully they'll brighten this up a bit, but it's, it's cool to have and, and cool to see. And we have more controls. If you swipe down, uh, then obviously we have our lights that we can turn on and off. And this is obviously a prototype, so we won't go super in depth, but you have uh, more information there. And we can assume that there'll be OTAs on this vehicle, uh, but that's cool to have. So there are two different drive modes with this. I'm in the support mode right now and it supports me. So if I'm in a crowd of people or something, it's going to support me in helping me slow down so that I don't have to constantly be controlling whether I'm going to crash into people um, and and kind of like support my, my movement. Then there's also the glide mode and the glide mode sort of takes it a step further. And with the glide mode, you can control your movement around um, areas, you can glide around. So it's gonna help you with one press of a button to negotiate around obstacles. The wheels actually dynamically interact with each other. So if the one wheel is losing traction, then the other wheels will hold traction. So you're less likely to slip or anything like that. And you can see them all spinning. Obviously, it's a hard thing to demonstrate, but Patrick's having to really pivot. Uh, that's really cool to know that like all four wheels are dynamically controlling this. Um, and you can sort of see that as they all spin around. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm just like going crazy, but it's uh, it's fun and it feels really stable. So yeah, if one wheel loses control, the other ones compensate. Awesome. This is a really disconcerting feeling to like go up a hill in a wheelchair, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it. And I'm in a glide. No, I'm in support mode, so that's good. And you are all full speed. Now. Full speed, full speed up a hill in a wheelchair. This feels really odd. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I'm king of the hill. <laughs> Weird feeling. Okay. It's like, I'm going to slow it down because it's like more disconcerting to me as the human really. And I use a manual wheelchair a lot. Um, and you don't really get a lot of flexibility when you're in a manual wheelchair to have a hand free. Yeah. So like even the fact that I can gesture like this is really cool because normally I'm like using both wheels yeah. with my hands. It's, it's difficult to go up hills. Yeah. Oh yeah. And physically I couldn't go up that in a manual wheelchair. That's for sure. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so this has a 600 watt hour battery on it, which is basically equivalent to uh, 20 miles of range. That doesn't sound that much if I think about it as a bike, but um, 20 miles is a lot. Like when have we last walked 20 miles in a day? Uh, I can't, I can't recall. So like 20,000 steps, maybe that, but that's only a couple miles. So that's more than enough range really to, to do a lot. Which mode you want to start with? Um, well, I feel like support is the initial mode, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's more me. So to yeah. switch, I go there and I'm in support. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so in this case, it's like I'm, I'm controlling it, but yeah. it's going to intelligently guide me a little bit. A little bit. A or little bit. Stop. Yeah. And, or stop. So I could try drive at Patrick and it'll stop? Um, yeah, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> supposedly. Should we try this? Okay, I'm coming at you. Ooh. Hi, Patrick. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, it avoided you. That's cool. I dig that. Okay. Yeah. That's really nice. Cause I've crashed into things a lot in my manual wheelchair. A lot, a lot. <laughs> cool. And so then if I switch to glide, yeah then it does the same thing? It steals much larger. So okay. the, the support mode only steals a little bit. Okay, the, cool. The, the so we're going to get into position again to try it, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go towards Patrick. I'll apologize ahead of time. We're in glide mode.
Oh, nice. Woo. That was nice too. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go try to get around some picnic tables. <laughs> yeah. So the question is, go on the outside or the inside? I'm going to try the outside. Wait, I should go into glide mode because that's the one that's like going to get me around here. Okay, it'll protect me. Let's get around this picnic table. Ooh. And then we have the hazard of the trash cans. I'm going to throw something away. Yeah. And then get around these. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yes. Nice. You don't have to maneuver that. No, not really. I'm just kind of like pressing with one finger, actually. Oh, we're going over. But it doesn't matter if it goes over. Like, it's handling the grass fine, huh? Well, I have had an incredible time in the EV1. I don't want to give it up and go back to a manual wheelchair. This is so cushy and fun. I had an awesome time checking out the EV1 by Strut. Being a manual wheelchair user, I don't have a huge amount of experience with powered wheelchairs like this. So if you do, please do leave your thoughts and feelings down below. Let us know what you think of this kind of video where we cover a personal mobility device. I think I only scratched the surface of what the EV1 can actually do. There's a whole bunch of AI features that may be evolving as the product evolves. For example, there is a really awesome video where a guy navigates the wheelchair using the Apple Vision Pro, like literally looking and moving. He made a great video, so I'll link it down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. A huge thank you to our patrons whose names are scrolling across the screen right now. We appreciate you guys so very, very much, as well as you, our YouTube members too. If you'd like to join these amazing electric communities, check out down below. And just remember that whatever you drive, whether it's a super smart AI personal mobility electric wheelchair or not, enjoy the ride. Bye.